the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you been working on your fruit? You know, uh, those who've been watching these videos probably say, you know, he has gone through every last one of them. I've been the last one now. And guess what? I'll start all over again. So we can remind ourselves, check our fruit. Check our characteristics because we're made in the image of God. We were made in the image of God. And let's focus on doing that. Striving. What is the image of God? It's not based on the color of your skin. It's not based on the shape of your body. It's not based on you carrying a Bible around. It's not based on the paraphernalia you use. It's not based on the church you go. It's not based on what people hear you praying. It's based on the Holy Spirit and the characteristics and nature of God being manifested in you. That's what we strive to. And what it is is based on those things of the Spirit. Now, just in case you, I'm going to remind you what the fruits of the Spirit are. Those characteristics are that we are supposed to conform to the image. Tell your child, tell your, tell your husband, tell people you come in contact. This is the image of God. This is the image of His Son. Fruits of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience, gentleness, Goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which means self-control against such there's no law. You ain't going to jail for that. And you say I put up there temperance, I put that definition that means self-control. Uh, before we go on that, this is going to remind you, have you checked your fruit today? How many people like to be around people who don't bear those characteristics we've been talking about? We've been talking about it. This is, I guess, we talk about it really. It's, it's, it's nine characteristics, or at least nine iterations. We go and talk about the fruits of the spirit, and we post them. I think we should post them, uh, and, and to remind us to check our fruit. Have you checked your fruit today? And self-control. I know good well. None of you want to be around people that don't have self-control. Nobody want to go on a date with somebody that don't have no self-control, or even a woman don't have self-control. We don't like being around people that don't have self-control. We don't really like to be around people that don't have no peace, no joy, no love, huh? We don't like people that are rude, rough, and, and all those type of things. We really don't. Even if we make, look, even the people that, that are rude don't like to be around rude people. Even if you think about it, it's just, it's just, it's just reality. We want those characteristics to be manifested in people that we come in contact with. And most of us have a tendency to leave from people that don't demonstrate these characteristics, right? So have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked your self-control? Are you in control or out of control? You know, road rage is a people that's out of control. If you see people that just lose it, they lose it they're, they're, they're like on a the highway. They, sometimes you see people that go off in an airport. You see people go off. Just, just, it's like a terrible too of a little child. People do lose self-control. But what we're saying is, as, a, as one of the characters of a Christian, is to be someone that has control, that maintains control. And that control with the help of the Holy Spirit, we want to be under control. I ain't talking about the people. I'm talking about ourselves, self-control. You dictate the action. Don't let nobody push your buttons. Because a lot of people try to find buttons to push. To get you to act the way they want you to act. And your job is with the leader of the Holy Spirit, the help of the Holy Spirit, is to stay under control. Even when you see people playing the football game, people doing a, in a boxing match. Y'all remember Muhammad Ali? He always liked to try to get those people by getting into their head. Michael Jordan tried to get into their head. People on the football team try to, on the football field try to get into the other players' head. So they lose control. But the team that's successful, the team that maintain control. So let's look at some scriptures here concerning uh, self-control of uh, the fruits of the Spirit. And we say right here, we already talked about the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. 
And the last one of those characteristics talked about self-control. See, they ain't gonna give you a ticket if you stay in control. It's when you're out of control that they'll give you a ticket, right? Well, they're gonna pick you up and pull you away, <laughs> right? Bad fruit, bad characteristics. But like here, confirm your call in an election. And this is Second Peter, Second Peter, uh, chapter one, three through nine. I had to condense this, the uh, slide because I'm trying to keep it down one slide. It says right here, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of, a, of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, which is self-control, and to self-control temperance, patience, and to patience godliness. For if these things be in you, look at this now, if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar and has forgotten that he was purged from his own sins. Wow. Man, that's him. I wish I could keep that. I wish I could keep that script up there for you. And you can look at that one and say, have you checked your fruit today? <laughs> Go read 1 Peter, right? 2 Peter uh, chapter 1, 3 through 9. Man, that, that's heavy with the things I see in there. But the bottom line is we want to stay and maintain control in all situations. Because that's when we stop panicking. We lose control of the situation. Maintain control in your, you, you, don't let them see you sweat. Remember what I'm saying? Don't let them see you sweat. Well, that's the, that's the characteristics of the fruits of the spirit. And that's, that's the last characteristic that was mentioned in the scriptures. Uh, and everything else should be just kind of things pointing toward these characteristics we've been showing. I really hope that you enjoy listening to uh, this uh, reminder checking your fruit because I think that's what we need to do as believers remind ourselves have we checked our fruit today when you read or listen to this listen or see this video ask yourself have you checked your fruit today and even if it would happen yesterday did you slip did you fall well get back up because it don't mean you, that's over. God ain't finished with you because you slept. God ain't finished with me because I slept. God is working with me. God is working with you. But we need to know what we're working toward and striving toward. We're not working toward our outward appearance, but working toward the inward being of who you are. Somebody is self-control. Somebody has self-control. You know, matter of fact, as we go for our clothes, I just listen to mine again. Have you checked your fruit today? What fruits are we talking about? We've been talking, this, this video will make, put it in at least 10 segments, and you see right here, it says, Galatians 22, 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, I'm not talking about a particular denomination, it's talking about being you, you, you being faithful in the things you do. Meekness, temperance, which is self-control. These are the characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit, and the, as you as believers need to continue to work on those characteristics daily. It's not, this is the way we go to church, this is the way we act in church, this is the way we act in life. Not saying we have arrived, people. It's just saying is that I, I need to work on those things that is acceptable to God, and look, even to man, like I said, I think nobody wants to be around people that's out of control. 
Nobody wants to be around people who don't have no peace. Nobody wants to be around people who don't have no love. You don't. And you also want to be able to give love to other people too. That was, I mean, I'm just telling you, this is the image of his dear son that he wants us to conform to. This is the image of what we're supposed to have been when we were back in Genesis. These are nothing wrong with these. These things are more profitable for us than the opposite. Have you checked your fruit today? I'm telling you, I'm checking mine daily, and I recommend you do the same. Abide in Him, and you can bear fruit. Don't abide in Him, you're not going to bear fruit. Watch what you're listening to, watch who you're hanging out with, and focus on cultivating the fruit, the fruits of the Spirit, the characteristic daily. You and somebody else as well. Those who come in contact, you see your fruit and your bed. All right? It takes time. But one thing about it, you don't have to be phony. You don't have to put on different clothes. You don't have to sit there. And, and you, you don't, you, bear these fruit does not require some outward activity for you. You pray. You study the Word of God. You fellowship with other believers. You go to services and so forth. They have cultivated. And then you cultivate and then you live it. Amen? So I hope you enjoy that the Fruits of Spirit series and I'll have you check your fruits today. And, I, and then I think we just, uh, I think I'll go ahead and post these one at a time, each characteristic one at a time, just daily. Just remind you to check your fruits today. Then we'll tweak it and come up with some other scriptures and nail one in some, some new, fresher ideas and stuff like that. But, there's just, just some good points of saying our image of the sun is these characteristics. I like that. I like being around people that have those characteristics. I think you do too. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy the whole segment of series that we just talked about. And I guarantee you, I think it'll be a blessing. Have you checked your food today? I hope so. I'm doing as well. God bless. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.